Good morning from Holub Falls campsite. We've got our coffee. We're going down for our morning coffee routine. Cheers. Cheers. What do you think of the coffee? Delicious. Brewed fresh <laughs> yes. from your source of water right outside here. All right, here we are, breakfast, day three. We've got the bacon already cooked. We are whipping up some hash browns. We've got some tortillas. Oh, I whipped them up all right. We whipped them up all right, yeah. And we're gonna fill that tortilla with bacon, fried potatoes, and cheese. And then we will be on our way. We got about 10 miles to go today. Where are we gonna end up, Bill? What's the... A tin, Adian, Batan. I'm not sure how you say that word. I apologize, all you people from Maine. Um, Ten Falls. All right, the tea and falls, here we come. About 10 miles down river, so we should be able to make some good time today. Look at this buffet we got laid out here. We got a little rain last night, but the sun is out this morning, so hopefully we'll have the weather gods on our side. Are you guys ready to canoe today? We are. Where are we headed to? The tea and falls, about 10 miles downstream. We're ready. Keaton, in your second day here? Or yep. Is this his third day? Third day. Third day. Yeah. Second day of canoeing. All right. I'm ready for the ache. I'm ready for the body ache. Ready for the hurt. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Iceman here. We've nicknamed him Iceman. I'm always cold. Because the mosquitoes don't can't bother him. Take it. <laughs> they might go near him, but they do not bite him. So Haven't gotten a bite yet. He's cold as ice. Iceman. So at Mosquito Rips. We chose to portage around that. It just looked a little too rough as soon as you come across uh, the drop. So there's a spot just to the right as you go down. You can get in. It's very slippery if it's wet. So please use extreme caution. Ask Keaton about using extreme caution. What do you think? Uh, yeah, definitely use extreme caution. See Easily the bottom right slippery. side there. I had a little slippage. He's okay though, ladies and gentlemen. He's okay. Yep. It's all part of the package. That's right. It's what he paid for. All right, we made it through one rapid by portaging around. We are now out of the rapid business until we get to our campsite about nine and a half miles down river. Beautiful morning, had some rain last night. We are just floating down the river. Definitely gonna have to launder that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> and sunny day today so far. We're hoping that stays like that. It'll be really nice. So this is where we landed at Spencer Rips coming in with the canoes. There's a down tree here right at the entrance to the portage trail. So that was fun getting out of that. And to top it off you gotta climb out with all your stuff to get to the top here. So we unloaded the canoe as much as we could. And then Aroni, the beast man, picked that bad boy up, put it on his head, walked out of here, up the ladder, and down the portage trail. There's a nice, another nice little surprise when you get to the top. And then there's some campers here. There's a, a road that comes down here, which is actually part of the Northern Canoe Trail. So there's a five mile portage to this point. And then the put-in is where we're going next. These folks were kind enough to block the portage trail for us. So we had to walk around their car with the canoes. And there's the road. So when Bill and I possibly do that Northern part of the Northern Canoe Trail, two years from now, we'll be coming up this way and putting in down here. So, again, cars have been driving through here, so there's a little side step around here to get through the mud pile or the mud pit.
it's not that far portage if it's not all wet and muddy and then here's the check-in box for the northern canoe trail let them know you've made it this far and you're okay and there's bill him and i might see this place in two years might here's keaton and here's where you put in and head back down the river to get around that out there on the northern fourth canoe trail there kind of linked up here pretty nice little boulders right here right side doing a terrific job up front. Our sunny day is kind of starting to go away here. Looks like some rain clouds up above. Uh, the river kind of widens up. There's a lot of little rocks or hidden rocks, submerged rocks. I think the water level is a little high right now. Um, so use caution when you're canoeing out here. They can come up and get you. sunny sky again today. Thank you very much. We're coming up on the Tian Falls, the Ten Falls, Adian. I'm still not sure how to pronounce it, but we're coming close to it. All right, here we are at the portage at the end of the six and a half mile paddle we just did this morning. Aroni's getting ready to pick up the uh, canoe here and put it on his head and we're about to head out so we'll watch how the professionals do this <laughs> All right. piece of cake It's like a bunch of toothpicks in here. This is what we're going around. Should be a couple of campsites along this portage, and we might have to put in and go a little bit more, get out a couple more campsites at the end. So we'll see. Okay, we're at the put in on the short portage. We're not going to use these two campsites. We're going to go down a little ways, get back out again, and check out some more campsites. All right, we'll see you down there. So we're at the second set of falls here, and I'm going to assume that that is a portage as well. Yeah, so this is the uh, campsite. There's two sites up here, and then there's also the portage. So Atian Falls North is the sign right here, which you saw earlier. And then the portage is going to be over that way. And another campsite here as well. This campsite seems to be the better of all the sites because of the open area here. And you have potentially wind coming in to take the mosquitoes away. There's a site just a little bit further down the trail here just at the put-in. It's a little smaller and more under lots of cover. So, how's the pulled pork? Delicious. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. I like the barbecue. It mm -hmm. does taste good. It's just sloppy. Yeah. It looks like hell. It looks like sloppy joes. Yeah. Having lunch, and then off to the lake, find a campsite, and have some fun for the night. So there is a campsite out on the opposite of the falls there too. You can get to from after the portage, just come across a set of stairs. The 
So we're going to press on and go into the lake and see if we can find a spot in the lake. So maybe there'll be a little bit of wind. And so I've been corrected. The, campsite's over in this cove right here, isn't it? the name of the lake is Addian Pond. So I've been saying it wrong. So I apologize to everybody from Maine. I will try to be saying it correctly from now on. We've just come out to the mouth of the river here in the, in the lake, and this is absolutely beautiful seeing all these islands out here. We saw this from the road out, and it was quite something to look at. They got a lookout there uh, from the road, too. So we're going to try to find a campsite. There's one supposedly up here on the right. Campsite's going here. We got a fire going. Had some bolts of thunder and lightning all around us, but that was just a little bit south of us. It's been going on for a little while. Getting the firewood going, keeping getting some wood you're ready to cut. One. There's one. Man, you're like a machine. So this here is called the Sven saw. It, it unscrews and folds right back into itself, so it's got its own little sheath built into it. It's very sharp, very lightweight, and does the job. Absolutely. Every camper should have one of these. Right, Aroni? You're awake. Young grasshopper. And you can tie the bear bag so people are ready. Yeah, for real. So we were down at these sites here at the Holub Falls. Uh, we stayed right at the end of the portage. There's a whole bunch of sites there. You saw the cabins and all that in previous. Uh, we came over to here. There was a little bit of a, a rapids right here. We were able to uh, go around that one to the right. It just seemed to be too much to go through it. We came all the way down. Spencer Rapids here. We had to go around that one as well. There's two campsites there on the right-hand side. I never saw the campsite on the left side, uh, but there's two camps on the right side. Um, one of them was occupied. You just take the stairs and go around it. There's a road, Spencer Road, that comes right up to it. Uh, the next campsite was in kind of bad shape, but uh, if you needed one or two tents, you could definitely stay overnight there. Uh, put in was right there go a little bit further i noticed that around here we had verizon cell service so i was able to get text messages only couldn't check the weather came all the way over here to Addian falls uh, we checked out all of the campsites um you know they were good sites but there was a lot of mosquitoes and not a lot of wind so we decided to keep going a little bit further went out into the lake and came over to this site here this site here is very primitive um there's no picnic bench uh, the privy or the thunderbox, if you want to call it, has no door on it, so uh, it's facing the campsite. So if you look back, you can see your buddies going to the bathroom. A couple of flat spots. The uh, put-in or from the campsite is right there, and that's it. And you don't really get much of a view of the lake, but the lake is out there. Well sheltered, lots of trees. So we're going to call it a night here tonight and then start out for tomorrow. So Rony and I are going to come out here and get some water, but we have a storm coming if you look straight ahead. It's coming right at us. Looks gnarly. Yep, looks like it'll be a good one. We're, our hope is that it will go that way of us, but... I think it's coming coming that way. It might hit us on the edge. Well, we're experiencing a little bit of a sun shower. Uh, we are really lucky. The storm is going to kind of just basically just go to the left of us. Uh, 
we're getting a little bit of rain but not too terribly much a little bit of wind and we kind of got under the tarp here and as always the smoke is doing what coming right at me <laughs> he has this unique skill folks at home no matter Wherever where i move goes, around the fire the smoke comes right at me <laughs> And what happens usually to your tent on a camping trip? Yeah, it's blowing right through my tent, too. I'm going to feel like a brisket when we get done from here. Smoke if you got them. <laughs> I'm going to be smoked. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, got some rain. We're going to get a little bit more coming. Good morning. Addy and Pond. We just left our campsite. We had some guests last night. Some moose came down and they were swamping all around there in the water there. So I had some other small four-legged creatures coming by so I had to get out of my tent and scare them all away. And Roni came out and joined me. We had some fun. Heading all the way across the lake this morning. There's, we switched it up today. There's Keaton in the front, Roni in the back. I got my man Bill back here. What's up? And the water is pristine today. Look at this gorgeous over, we got clouds overhead. So put a little sunscreen on this morning, but hopefully we're not gonna bake in the sun all day. So starting off a good day. Splitting the islands here. A couple of rocks, a couple of loons out there. What a view out there. Look at that. Look at all these islands out here. Well, heading into a little wind here at Addian Pond. Getting out more towards the middle. There are lots of rocks everywhere just poking out of the water. signs of houses or people out here. So there's a picnic bench or a picnic area out on the lake here closer to the west side. So there's this nice, beautiful rock shelf that just kind of goes right on up. And then they got a picnic table up here. No fires, but great place to come and have lunch. No bathroom, right? No bathroom here, guys? No. Nope. Nope. So no fires are allowed here. But just great 360 degree views. from our portage here and the wind has really picked up got a little bit of white capping going on here we're just paddling away i'm just taking a quick video just to document this but i got to get back to paddling so we'll see you at the portage so we made it to the end of addy and pond thank you very much addy and pond you gave us a nice good struggle there there's a sign up on this tree just to the left of the portage with a portage sign. But it's a nice sandy beach here. And there's a little opening up here just up top. <laughs> and then there's a sign up here that says hold the pond 1.2 miles. All right, we made it to the portage, survived the wind. Bill's going to demonstrate how to get this bad boy up on top like a pro. It's like he's done this before. All right, let's roll. So it's been a lot of fun having my cousin Keaton come join us on this trip. That's a trip of a lifetime for him. It's not something he's never done, so excited to have shared it with him. Good to have Kevin and Aroni meet with me again. All right, we got some bridges here we're walking on. 
very slippery all messed up yeah I'm gonna put the camera away all right Aroni's doing a little try at the canoe carry Relatively wide portage trail once you get past some of the uh, bridges. The bridges are all very slippery. Probably need some maintenance to them too. There's Kevin and Keaton up in front. Kevin's got the other canoe. Yeah, some cross cuts on these would be good. All right, I think we have crested the mount here on the way back down on this portage as you can see bill's up in front of me he's got the canoe i took the first probably third to maybe half i don't know thank goodness i'm not doing this piece with a canoe on my head but bill's a pretty dang good at it so looks like we're coming up on the railroad track here so maybe this will get easier anyway we're motoring just passed a group of folks hiking along here as well. They stood to the right as we passed by. And here we come. All right, we're just about at the end. We can see the lake. There goes Bill, there goes Keaton. Here comes Aroni. Just about there, big man. You can smell the water. This part of, the, part of the portage isn't too bad, but there are a lot of the plank wood laid down over some really soupy areas. It's been raining. Those things are slicker than a pound of wet liver. So it's been kind of treacherous walking through those. Just taking little baby steps, but oh, that breeze feels good, but it's not gonna be good paddling. The lake's all choppy. We're in for a heck of a paddle coming up our next campsite and we're there for the night maybe. all right so we got on that portage we started actually hiking 11 20 what time is it now 12 16. we've already had a snack and a break so we got here at 12 05. it's pretty good uh 45 i don't know how many how many minutes is that i can't even think but anyways we are tired though that canoe uh into the wind was kind of rough just ask these guys <laughs> here's the portage uh, put in here on the other side a little rocky uh, for those at home when you're taking the portage trail there's a, a split a fork uh, and to the right goes to a railroad track and to the left is the portage stay left because going on the railroad tracks is private property you are technically trespassing and it's also not very safe if a train were to come by so stay on the, the portage. Uh, once you hit the road, you have to be on the road for a little bit. Turn right, go over the railroad tracks, and the portage uh, trail will continue on the left. There are no signs marking it. And then you'll quickly come out to here, and there's a couple of campsites here. The site's up to be pretty nice. All right, we're on Holib Pond. We just left the campsite that we thought we were going to spend the night at because it's pretty choppy and windy out here, but there was no way to put in there that was just all boulders and rocks. So uh, we're pressing on, even though everybody is really tired. And we're pretty much going back to the first campsite we stayed at, which is straight ahead and just to the right. So we got about another, it looks like three quarters of a mile or so. And that is one long freight train. That thing's been going by now for about 10 minutes. There's Keaton and Aroni. There's Captain Bill behind me. We are just paddling away trying to get through this chop. We'll see you at the campsite. Roni and Kevin are going out to get some water. So we use the Gravity Works uh, filter system, platypus. Basically you have a bag that you get of water, we call it the dirty water. It then goes through a filter system working via gravity, filters out. Yeah, demonstration here in just a bit. Back with their fruits of labor, so they have this bag of water. And 
There it is. Dinner tonight. Oh, I almost spilled it. <laughs> so this is the water filtration system I was talking about. This here's the dirty bag, six liters of water. It flows down into a water filter system. This is a Platypus Gravity Works filter. You could also use a Sawyer water filter. It's a little bit smaller. It takes a little longer to, to filter. It goes all the way down into the bag there. It says clean. So now what this does, it takes care of two of the three things that we're going after to, to prevent from harming us and getting us sick. So the third precaution we do at the end of this is we use a UV uh, light filter pen. So the light filter pen runs for 90 seconds inside your water bottle. You swirl it around for 90 seconds and once the 90 seconds is up, it's done. All right, Kev, what do we got for dinner tonight? What do you, what do you make for us? We made Thanksgiving dinner tonight. So we've got stuffing, Idaho mashed potatoes, gravy, turkey jerky, and then we're topping it off with French's dried onions. Mm. What do you think? It's too good. Too good to eat? You gotta leave it there? Yeah, I'll just smell it. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Delicious. Oh, mm. Darn good. There's plenty of Frenches. We stayed over at this campsite over here. This campsite here is uh, not used much. It's hard, very, very hard to see. You really, really, really have to know where you're going. Um, we uh, pinpointed it pretty pretty quickly just because of we're good at maps and all that. But anyways, it was right here. Um, we went ahead and went out through these islands. Came all the way out here. We stopped here uh, at the island there. It's a uh, picnic table there. A really nice little rock face. Get a nice 360 views of the entire lake. Absolutely awesome. We continued on. These three sites looked really, really nice. The one in the middle had a really, really good opening. So great views of the lake. Continued on all up uh, into the wind. We did the portage. The portage definitely needs some work uh, by whoever maintains it. Um, the boardwalks are slippery and broken in, in sections. Uh, some brush kind of overhanging left and right. But and we uh, continued on. The put in here was really rocky, so be careful. You've got a really nice boat. Uh, we came all the way up around. We were going to stay at this site here, but it was really, really, really just rough. There was no easy way in and out. Everything was like par go parallel, but then it was a stretch to step out of the boat. We could have probably made it work, but then you just, when you try to get water and go s swim and bathe and all that kind of stuff, just was very, very difficult. So we decided to continue on, and then we ended up coming up to this site right here, which is actually where we started. So that was our entire trek. Um, and then our trek tomorrow will just be across the way to the landing. And then we will head home. All right, leaving in the morning here, heading over to the landing so we can head out. Nice little cloud cover came in here, mist over the lake. What a great adventure we had between the four of us. We are headed over to the cars. There's Keaton in front. I'm in the back for a change. We got Aroni and Bill over there. We had just had coffee this morning, that's it. We're gonna run into town, get something to eat, and then head back to Burlington, Vermont. It's been a great, great trip. Keaton has learned a lot. Yes, He's, I have. I've he, learned from the best. He has suffered a lot too. Yesterday was brutal on the poor kid. Anyway, he hung in there, kept I paddling. Pushed through. I pushed through. He pushed through, so we're proud of him. Anyway, thanks everybody. We'll catch you on the next trip.